Hello everyone. Welcome back to Adda Desi. In today's episode of University Life, we are going to talk about San Diego State University, located in the Golden State of United States, that is California. First, let's go through the application requirements. So one good news about San Diego State University is that it doesn't require GRE score for most of their courses now. It's a very simple three-step process. First, an online application that costs around $70. Second, an official transcript. Third, an English proficiency test that is your IELTS, TOEFL or PT score. So minimum score required in IELTS is around 6.5. For TOEFL, it is 80. For PT, it is 58. And for DET, that is Duolingo English test is around 105. The average profile of a computer science graduate is as follows. The average score for TOEFL is around 95, for IELTS is 7, and a GRE score used to be around 311. Next, let's talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. Before we move forward, I have a small request. If you like the work that we do, then please don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. This will help us and give us the confidence to keep on making such informative videos in the future. Now back to our video. As usual, I'm going to take a computer science program to talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. If you need specifics about your program, you can comment below and I'll definitely reply to that. To complete a master's in computer science program, you need to complete at least 30 course credits, which takes around four semesters or 24 months. Each semester, San Diego State University divides students into two categories, full-time students and half-time students. A full-time student is considered a person who takes more than six course credits each semester. A person who takes less than or equal to six course credits is considered as, as a half-time student. The total tuition fees for a full-time student is around 4,804 and a total tuition fees for a half-time student is around 3,298 each semester. If you are an out-of-state or an international student, you have to pay $396 each credit on top of that total tuition fees. Next, let's talk about housing. There are both on-campus and off-campus housing. But California state is an expensive state, so most of the people prefer an off-campus housing. You can visit our website addadesi.com to find many off-campus housing options. The average rent for a two-bed and two-bath apartment is around $2,500 to $3,000 and the average rent for per person is around $1,000 to $1,600 per month. The average utility bill, that is your internet, telephone, a water bill, electricity bill, is around $100 to $150 per person per month. Next, let's talk about transportation. Compared to other cities in the United States, San Diego has a pretty good public transport system. They call it as MTS or Metropolitan Transit System. This MTS consists of both buses and trolleys. And trolleys are like a light rail system. If a student, a student is younger than 18 years old, it is completely free to them. For other students, they can take a semester pass, which costs around $167, or they can take a monthly pass, which costs around $58. The other transportation options are a carpool or a van pool provided by the university, or a Lyft, Uber, or e-scooters. Next, Let's talk about on-campus job options. San Diego State University has many on-campus job portals. I'll attach all the links below and you can directly apply using your resume. They have a work limit for F1 students around 20 hours per week when the classes are in progress. But during vacation time, such as Christmas or summer, when there is no class in progress, the work limit is 40 hours per week. The average pay is around $16 to $24 per hour. At the end, I would like to say that San Diego State University is a pretty decent university. The tuition fees is quite affordable and being in California, it has a lot of job opportunities after graduation. The only disadvantage is that the living cost is very expensive. I would like to wish all of you a very all the best for your future endeavors and please visit addadesi.com to find rooms and roommates for absolutely free. 
Also, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Adda Desi. Thank you.